Hey, how's it going? Today, we are going to be creating an email drip campaign using Active Campaign. So when it comes to email automation systems, I've tried a lot of them. Um, MailerLite, MailChimp, and I settled on Active Campaign, but it's not really settling. Active Campaign does a lot of stuff. I think it competes with Infusionsoft in terms of what you can do. So here is the you know the the home screen and there's actually a little update button that we can run here. Um, and then here are all is all the information that we have access to. So if it looks a little overwhelming, don't worry about it. We're not really concerned with that today. We're just going to be creating an automated drip email sequence and this is how you do it. So the first thing you have to do is you have to create a new list because when people sign up for Let's say on your website you're giving away free tickets. So you have to actually create a list um, for people to insert themselves into automatically and they can be inserted into this email drip sequence. So we're just going to go ahead and add a new list and we'll call it free uh, ticket giveaway. This could be for free consultation, free anything, or, or you could use it for anything. Then you're going to put your uh, website URL, so I'll just type in HTTP uh, com, and then here is when where you can tell people what you got it for so you're receiving this because oops receiving this email because you wanted free tickets and then you're gonna create that list so now we've created our list so now we have to that's one of three steps so that's the first step down. The second step is that we have to create the actual email drip sequence that is uh, that we want to happen. And then third, it's weird to hold up this finger, this is not the middle finger. Third is that we have to connect that list to our website so that when people enter their information it will insert them into this list. So it goes like this. So we've created the list. Now we want to go to here uh, and click on automations and you can see all your automations pull up and we're going to select new automation now the cool thing about active campaign is that it's got pre-built um, email drip automation so as you can see here is a lead magnet opt-in here is an engagement tagging uh, automation here is an accessory upsell so there are all kinds of ones you can create that are already templated out for pretty common email automations but for the sake of today we're going to start from scratch so you're going to highlight that blue click continue and then here is your blank slate so the first thing you need to do is let active campaign know when to send someone and when to start them in this email drip sequence so we want when someone subscribes to a list for them to be for this email sequence to start sending to them so we'll select that then we will select the list so we are going to select the free ticket giveaway that we just created now this should run multiple times or once I'm going to leave it at once and uh, segment the contacts so you can also segment the contacts that enter this automation so you could assign a custom field to them you could assign geography anything I'm going to leave that blank for right now and select add start so we have started it now so now Active Campaign will ask you what you want to do uh, to someone that subscribes to this list. So we're going to send them an email to the contact. You don't have any emails to send, you can create an email. So let's go ahead and create that right now. So now you will select the email name you would like. So I'm going to type Brandon Style. So this will come from me. And so let's take a look at this really quick. Actually, now let's build the email. So as you can see, there's some great templates that are already pre-built, or you can build them from scratch. Since we're sending a free ticket giveaway, um, I might just select this welcome email right here, use this design. So it will be coming from me. It will be coming from Brandon at brandonstyles.com. And the subject will be, you were entered to win free tickets. Now we'll click continue. So we've kind of set up the 
forefront of this email automation sequence. Active campaigns building that. And now here is the drag and drop builder for the email. So this is what the person who signs up for the list will see. So it will say welcome. I might change this to free ticket entry confirmation. Um, you can change the text color. You can change the background over here. So maybe I'll make that um, like a light blue. That's a little harsh. That looks kind of nice. Hey, and then do you see where it's got the percentage mark and then it says first name percentage mark? So what that will do is if you ask for a first name or any sort of name on your subscribe list, it will insert that person's name there. So if they type in Tom, let's say on that uh, subscribe field, it will insert Tom right there. So that's a pretty cool feature, but you don't have to put that if you don't want. Um, then I'm going to change this to you're in the running for free tickets. Thanks for signing up. And maybe that's all I put. And then you can add, you know, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to do whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, let's say if I wanted to add a button, you can go to insert and then you can uh, you drag over social links if you want to. And it, you can choose the option to put in your social links. Uh, there's a button right here. Let's say if I didn't want that, you can delete it. So hover over that little gear icon, delete this. Are you sure? Yes. Um, I want to delete this. Are you sure? Yep. And let's go ahead and delete this little avatar. That's where you could put your picture or your company logo, really anything. And then let's go ahead and work on this social link. Uh, let's center it. So that looks good. And then you're in the running for three free tickets. Thanks for signing up. So if that was cool, I will uh, let me move my little screen here. You can either save and exit or click next. I recommend clicking next here. And this will give you a few more options for this email campaign. So this will kind of give you a summary. So it's going to send someone an email that's with the subject line, you're entered to win free tickets. It will send it from Brandon's, my name, Brandon Styles, and there's the email address that it will get sent from. Um, there is the address to my company. You can obviously add different ones in there if you want to. Um, you can turn on and turn off uh, retracking, link tracking to see if someone clicked one of your social links. You can sync up Google Analytics, reply tracking, all that. You can send a test email. So let's go ahead and do that. I've clicked that and it's sending right now. And then you can also preview the email. Um, and then you can check to see if it passed. So if you have like four videos and 30 links and all this stuff in there, it might not pass those spam checks. So if all that looks good, then you're just going to select finish. And then this sets up your campaign. So now we've built part two. So we've created a list. We've said when someone subscribes to that list, what we want to happen, AKA we want to send this email. Now you can opt to send another email. If you wanted to do another email two days later, you just click that plus button, send an email, but then you can also select conditions. So you could uh, select wait for a certain period of time. So I might say wait for three days and then send another email. So click on that and send an email and then create another email. Um, or I might change this condition to uh, an interaction. So I might say, uh, I might select if, if a condition, like let's say in the first email, if the customer or the prospect did not click on a link in the email, then send them this one. And then you can start A, B and split testing your email automation campaigns and it can get pretty segmented. So that would be of use for, let's say if you sent out a, an initial email like right here that had a lead magnet in it. Well, you could t let Active Campaign know that if the person clicks that link to download, send them email A. If they don't, then wait two days and send email B, which might be a reminder to download that. So you can get pretty, uh, you know, pretty ingrained with that. So we've set up those two things. Now all we need to do is connect these together on your website. There are a lot of ways to do this. Um, one with the Divi theme obviously is a great way to do it. But let's say if you don't have any, any special theme and you just want to create some code, well, this is what you do. You go up to Forms, 
And then this will let you create a form that you can copy and paste onto your website using JavaScript code. So you will select add a new form. You can call it free ticket entry form. Um, you can select inline form. And when someone subscribe, you would in the R case, when someone subscribes to a list, we want them to be started on this automation. There we go. I found the words and you select your list here. We want it to be the free ticket giveaway. Gotcha, so now, whenever someone signs up for this form, we're going to add them to the free ticket giveaway automation, which will send that first email. Hope that makes sense so far. It's, it's not too complicated. Um, so this is what the form's gonna look like on our website. So I might highlight this, and I might change this to um, enter info for free ticket giveaway and then here this is these are in paragraph tags but you could type enter your info below to register to win free tickets and then here's where you can select the uh, requirements for the form so in this form I'm asking for someone's full name and their email address and obviously that's required but you can add other custom fields like let's say I wanted them to add, um, let's say they were getting married or something, and I wanted them to add their wedding date. Then you could add that, and then you could drag it over below, and that's where uh, you know prospects could put in their wedding date. And then you could highlight this submit button right here, and you could change it to enter to win. And then uh, you can also remove marketing by active campaign on different subscription levels. So here's where you can kind of change how you want it to look. You can have it more inline horizontally based or stacked vertically. You can change the background obviously. So if you wanted to make it purple with white letters and you wanted to change the corner radius so it's more rounded off, you can change the width. Here's where you can change the button background color. So maybe I could make that um, yellow, kind of a Lakers vibe. Maybe you're winning Lakers tickets. That's way too much. That's really ugly, but this is just for a demonstration. And change all that. You can turn off active campaign branding. And then you're just going to click integrate once you've got your form to where you want it. And it's going to give you some JavaScript code. And here's the embed code. And this gives you really cool options because you can either just select a simple embed, you can select a full embed, which will allow you to use the CSS on your website. Let me move my camera back over. Use the CSS on your website uh, to make changes. Or you can select WordPress. If you're using WordPress, there's actually an active campaign plugin that makes it really easy to add this form. So all you're going to do is either use the plugin or use this embed uh, JavaScript code to add to your website and then you're done whenever someone clicks on this form and enters the information then active campaign is going to send that information to your list and when someone's added to that list that we created in step one it's going to enter them into the email uh, automation and then they'll be entered into free tickets and you can do whatever you want from there I hope that helped. I hope that wasn't too confusing. It's, it's pretty straightforward, but that is how you can create your first email automation using Active Campaign. I'm Brandon Stiles. I'm a digital marketer in Atlanta. Please subscribe to this channel if that was helpful at all, and I will talk to you very, very soon.